Jason here, bloodchurch.org, come today. Going to do a video on blood. So, as we know, the blood can be a blessing. It can cover us from our sins, as the Lord Jesus Christ did perfectly on that cross at Calvary. It also can be something negative. It also, Satan has always attacked the blood of, uh, you know, man and tried to corrupt it. We'll, we'll look at that briefly. Start Genesis 2.23, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You hear him say this when he's speaking to Eve. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And, of course, this is the classic story of the you know of God putting Adam to sleep, removing a rib, creating a woman to uh, keep Adam happy. And... Um, but what's interesting in this verse is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. There's no blood mentioned here. So it makes you believe that at first God created Adam in his image. And so Adam did not have blood until he ate uh, the forbidden tree, the fruit from the tree, which, which you'll find is a grape because grape wine has blood-like characteristics in the Bible. It's not an apple. But um, interest, interestingly enough here... Um, that once they sinned, then they received blood. And then, of course, we all know the story of Cain and Abel. Abel killed Cain, or excuse me, Cain killed Abel, reverse that, and um, shed his blood, and the blood spoke out to God. And, um, you know, blood is life. Simply, you know, put... You know, without without the blood, you can't live. That's why we have blood transfusions. Um, that's why it's very important. And Jesus shed his blood, of course, for us, the ultimate sacrifice. So if you're not saved, get saved today. All the blood of Jesus Christ says that'll cover your sins. We're all sinners. We all fall short. First Corinthians 15, 1-4 shows the gospel, how he died on the cross, rose from the dead. Except the free gift of salvation during the church age, why you still can um, amen to that. Believe with your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died on a cross and rose from the dead three days later like only God can do. Okay, let's, let's flip to a different verse. Let's go to Luke 24, 39. If I hold my hands and my feet that it is I myself, handle me and see, for a spirit have not flesh and bones as you see me have. So this is Jesus, of course, appearing after he was, after he resurrected and appeared to 500, including his disciples. And if we go over to Luke 24, if you um, you can see that, um, again, flesh and bones are mentioned. The blood, of course, was all, you know, all um, leaked out, um, as it says in the Bible, when Jesus died. And so, again, just like Adam, he does not have blood. It's more like a water system, I would guess. And uh, makes you wonder if that's where you get the, the term blue blood from. Um, and, it, and it's sort of interesting. But again, well now Jesus, when he was born, he was born with blood. He was different. He was perfect, but he was, it was certainly blood. And we're born with, you know, we have three, you know, flesh, soul, and spirit. And part of that is, of course, the blood. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 50, verse 50. Now, this is right before the rapture verse, but now I say this, brother, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God, to make it clear, is the third heaven. The kingdom of heaven is down here on earth, which can be conquered, as nation can conquer nation. Um, and the satanic New World Order that has set up a corrupt you know, kingdom down here on, in heaven, where we live on earth, but not the kingdom of God. So so when you die, I mean, you certainly, or when we're raptured, we will not have blood. Um, and the flesh that we have, we will certainly be transformed. Neither doth, doth corruption inherit incorruption. So very important to see that, you know, once we are raptured or once we die, we are changed from our current state to something different. Whether we go to heaven or hell is the only question. First John 3, 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. So we, when you're saved, you become the sons of God. You become um, one with the Lord Jesus Christ. We also will we'll eventually be the bride of Jesus Christ. But 
right now we're in our human fleshly state and and it says here and it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear that would be the second coming which is in twofold the rapture and then also at the battle of armageddon we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is so we're going to receive the body of jesus christ it's going to be a blessed day uh, we'll have a bloodless system just like him now satan has always wanted to corrupt as we did see what he did in, to Adam and Eve, he also killed Abel. And he also brought in, in Genesis 6, the fallen angels to mate with women of wives of their own, plural, that they saw fair when they left their estate and came down and mated and created the giants. And um, so, if we go to Deuteronomy... And we're talking about, um, you know, what did they do in the Old Testament? All right, but if you look at verse 14 here, and, uh, and this is 32, Deuteronomy 32, butter of kin, milk of sheep, fat of lambs. All right, and thou drinkest, dost drink the pure blood of the grape. So again, it sort of refers to grape as blood, and that's, um, you know, that's sort of what we see when we look at the Bible. That's sort of a verse that shows that. Um, let's go to Ezekiel. And Satan, um, you know, was seen as a beautiful tree in the Garden of Eden. Different than all, all the other trees. And, um, you know, he was, of course, in the Garden. Um, and tempted Eve and, and Adam and... and Let's go up here. All right, verse 7. Thus was he fair, so this be Satan, in his greatness, and the length of the branches, for the root was by great waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his boughs, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. So Satan, of course, was, you know, a cherubim who um, there were five, now there's four around the throne of the Lord. And at the time in the Garden of Eden, before, well, before he fell, he was king of Tyrus down on earth, but he also was the anointed cherubim that covereth, and, and he was filled with precious stones and gold. And, and, of course, he was beautiful. And so his tree, his branches were beautiful. Verse 9, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the tree of Eden that were in the garden envied him. So, of course, when Eve came upon him, he was quite tempting and um of course we all know what happened uh, you know as he as he corrupted man um because he hates man because we took his estate and so what you'll find is you know the jesus had to reconcile all these issues i mean he created he did drown out the um when the blood was changed but the sons of god came down and made it with the women of fair in genesis 6 he did have to drown the world out in noah's flood and, and get rid of that seed and, um, you know, and, and man again populated the earth through the, through the eight, through the Shem, Japheth and Ham, the, the, the three, the three brothers of, of Noah. And they went out and, um, once he confused the languages out into the world, but Satan has always tried to, um, taint with the, mess with the blood of humans. And we might be seeing that again today, but, um, you know, the blood is also a blessing, um, you know, it's life. It, it's it's our salvation, and it means so much. And so, I just wanted to show you know some of other than just the characteristic of blood of the four different types and and what we know about it. That um, you know, it is sin field. I mean, it is it is evil. And when we're born, we're not born as as after the fall of of Adam and Eve. We're not born whole. We're born without the Holy Spirit. We're born um, born of the devil, essentially. Two-thirds of a man is 666, and we, until we receive the Holy Spirit, we're not completely 100% the way we should be. And when we become sons of God, yes, we have our temporal body, which is sinful, the flesh, the old man, the blood, but it will soon be changed. So it's something to look forward to. But uh, blood again in the future will also be important, and maybe I'll take a look at that at a future study, even the tribulation. Um, will be important again, but God bless and have a great day.